Now we're heading to St. Eustachio Church. And that is the Church of St. Eustachio. St. Eustachio is a Roman Catholic titular church and a minor basilica in Rome, named after the martyr St. Eustache. It is located on Via di St. Eustachio in the Rayon St. Eustachio, a block west of the Pantheon and a Via della Rotonda, and a block east of St. Ivo alla Sapienza and the Via della Dogana Vecchia. A church at the site was founded by the 8th century. The church was recorded as center for helping the poor and the sick. At the end of the pontificate of Pope Gregory II, it is mentioned in some documents dating from the 10th and 11th centuries where this church is called Platana, between the plain trees, referring to the tree planted in the garden of the martyr Eustace. However, tradition holds that the Emperor Constantine I had previously built an oratory here. This church was called the Pantheon in the Ninth Region and next to the Temple of Agrippa. The main altar was commissioned by Cardinal Neri Corsini and designed by the architect Nicola Salvi. He made it into an elegant and refined synthesis of marble and gilded metal. church was restored and had a new campanile added at the end of the 12th century during the pontificate of Chalestine III, who also deposited the putative relics of Eustace and his family in the church. In the 16th century, it was a favored praying place for St. Philip Neri. In the 17th and 18th centuries, it was almost completely rebuilt, with only the campanile remaining from the old structure. The new design in the Roman Baroque style was produced by several architects. Cesare Carvara and Giovanni Battista Contini from 1641 to 1723, who added chapels and the portico. Antonio Canevari from 1681 to 1750. Nicola Salvi from 1697 to 1751. And finally, from 1728, Giovanni Domenico Navoni. The new high altar in bronze and polychrome marble was added by Nicola Salvi in 1739 and in the 1749 Ferdinando Fuga put a baldachin over it. The choir and the sacristy were designed by Canevare and built by Giovanni Moscati. The church was elevated to minor basilica status in 1918. The interior has a cruciform architectural plan and consists of a single nave. Its construction was carried out in major Baroque style under the supervision of the architects Cesare Corvara and Antonio Canevari. The nave is marked on each side by three pilasters resting on a broad base. The pilasters are decked with fluted white marble and surmounted by composite capitals. The top of the altar rests on an urn in porphyry rosso antico the costly stone of the ancients, that contains the putative relics of St. Hugh's days. The altarpiece was painted in 1727 by Francesco Ferdinandi, also named Limperiali. It represents the martyrdom of St. Hugh's days and his family who were roasted to death inside a bronze statue of a bull or an ox in the year AD 118. The gilded wooden baldachin over the main altar is attributed to Ferdinando Fuga, 
from 1699 to 1781. The rear of the church is almost completely covered with the organ, made by Johann Conrad Wordley in 1767. The gilded balustrade and the wooden front of the organ were executed in Rococo style by Bernardino Mamucari, Francesco Michetti, and Carlo Pacilli. Above the organ stands a glass window representing the penitent Magdalene, realized in the last decade of the 19th century by Gabriel and Luis Gesta di Tolosa. The pulpit was executed in polychrome marble and dates from 1937. Again, credits to Wikipedia for the script and the history that I have read and shared.